Rise and shine. to um I'm about to get into these dishes yesterday I um when I got off live I didn't do too much like I really just sat back and chilled the majority of the day I recorded a video and edited that hoe edited that hoe and posted it took me a while to get it together, but I finally got it together today. I'm gonna wash dishes. I didn't get to do that yesterday. <laughs> I'm doing that this morning. I missed um my babies to death. Um, you know what? I got some shit on my heart. Like I don't know. I, I really don't want to get into it though. Like, like I just want some some shit to today to just be light but um man it's been hard yo been trying to do this 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 social media thing for a while now and since i lost my job trying to stay productive um not having this and that, you know, when not having support, you know, like you need to have support and just, it's just been hard, you know, for a lot of us. And I feel like, you know, as soon as I seem like things are starting to smooth out, it goes back to normal, you know, and it gets hard again. And, um, man, I have literally... <clears throat> been trying to pop up like muddle through my own shit i've been muddling through this shit and i i don't like you know i think a lot of people like have gotten used to me being someone who's always cheerful versus like just i don't know so when they see me in places, it's like, man, you supposed to be them bounce back. You supposed to be did this. You supposed to be doing this. And you supposed to be doing that. And I'm just like, man, that just lets you know how how shit can turn around. Like it can just be total opposite. I've been out here struggling for a year. You know what I'm saying? And not having no job, not knowing how I'm gonna pay my bills, and just <laughs> really struggling, man. And I'm so far away from home for my family. It's just been difficult um, getting adjusted to. So, you know, my lights, <laughs> it's been getting cut off. And I just, like, I'm tired of asking people for shit. Like, my parents and shit, I'm tired of, you know, asking them or, you know, asking my kids' dad or, you know, and them never being in a place to where they can help or giving me a long ass luxury and I'm just like man if y'all only knew what I came up against as a kid I just don't feel comfortable being somewhere where I don't have family relying on other people to help me with my children you know what I'm saying I feel like a lot of people don't take don't understand or process how that has affected me and how I raise my kids. Um, I feel like it's very conducive um, to to us, but at the same time, it's, it's being somewhere where I'm not 
I'm not privy to. I'm out here in the wilderness alone, you know, and I'm used to having my 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 mama ten minutes away, my grandma twenty minutes away, my dad five minutes away, like if something went wrong, like if I needed, you know what I'm saying? Hey, can you pick up the kid? Like <laughs> I can't call nobody to pick up my kids where I'm at now. Like I can't I am trying to work and do all of this stuff. Like I have no way to damn I didn't put no seat bag in there. I have no way to um to do certain things and people are like oh well you should be able to I'm like no I shouldn't be able it's not as simple as it looks you know what I'm saying I shouldn't be able a lot of people don't understand that and I feel like they you know I guess because they've never been through my my life experience but man you know me and my mama had a discussion earlier and it really put me in this perspective of just getting into that heart space of just feeling bad like I feel bad because even my mama she got you know her ups and down with her health and shit and it just it took everything inside of me not for me to just bawl and start crying because my mama have high blood pressure she's in the hospital every six months every three to six months with her blood pressure being out of control having to stand in the hospital and not being able to really just maintain the way she's been wanting to maintain and you know she's been having to help me here and there because you know my kids fathers are not you know so you know we talked and you know i was sharing with her i've gotten so used to somebody telling me or making me feel bad when i want to do things a certain way or i want to make it easier you know, and just, like I said, I was like, man, I'm finna sell everything in my house and just live out of my car until, you know, something comes along, but I can't afford to stay here because it's mentally draining me to constantly go through the ups and downs of, I don't know how I'm gonna do this this month or I don't know how I'm gonna do this next month or I don't even know, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes motherfucker be so bad, you don't even, you know, you don't know <laughs> if you gonna have tissue, like, um so you know it's just been hard it's been hard and i think that i've been conditioned to be like oh you need us you need us you know you need us you need us you need us until now motherfucker just like It's a backpedaling, if you will. Like, you don't need us. I'm like, I've been telling y'all motherfuckers that all along, but it's, it's been going on for so long. And to literally have a fight with somebody going back and forth of you standing on your own two feet versus them helping you or basically a codependent relationship is like, I don't even know. It's To me, it's compared to like going, going through hell. That's how I process that like it's it's been hell arguing with people about me being able to take control over my own life versus them being in control from when i popped my first child out all the way up until now has led me in nowhere nowhere land and i, I don't mean to blame anybody but i'm just saying like sometimes i wish i had just ran the fuck away because if I ran away, nobody would have had connections to me. I would have been on my own. And sometimes when you're not strong-minded and you allow people to, you know, you, you, you don't have guidance or you don't have your own two feet. Or maybe you don't even trust yourself to make decisions. When you allow people to have that hanging over you, I feel like, <sighs> I don't know. Like, it's just one of those things to where it's harder for you to get to the place to where you can learn your own self if you can have your own mindset and your own guidance because i can't hear my own guidance for hearing what you want me to do you see what i'm saying or how you feel or and and i feel like in the christian community or religious community like for so long our elders have been nothing but right like so to to come against them and fight what they're saying is like questioning god because they're the elder they've been through this they've done this and that and it's kind of like for me i've done nothing but suffer 
Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, you know, I didn't want to move here. You know, my mom wanted me to move here because it was, she felt like it was best. And my mom lost my, her job within like a year and a half later. And she didn't live here. <laughs> And the only reason I felt like she was like, oh, it's so much different opportunities. But I feel like I never got the chance to really just decide if that was something that I wanted to do. So now I'm here. Nobody here. She can't. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't know. I don't know. And, and it's, 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 it's been hard, fuck. Especially when you used to having, like, your mama... And you can just drive to her house. It's only like 10 minutes away. You can drive to your daddy's house. It's five minutes away. I can't go see them because I can't afford to see them. I can't I can't go back home because I can't afford to go back home. Like, it's either <laughs> being able to get, you know, to the grocery store. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so many conversations that I have to um, dive into, you know. With decision making, like if I well, if I come down here, I ain't gonna have toilet paper, or if I, you know, go this place, I ain't gonna be able to go to the grocery store. I may run out of gas when I go this place, and it's just like, man, my 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 light bill, you know, um, is one hundred and seventy dollars, and I'm looking like, man, here we are again. My lights is gonna, gonna be cut off at six o'clock tonight. And only thing that I can do is just be out of here because they cut them lights off. I got an inspection Tuesday. I'm going to get kicked out. That's it. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm tired of fighting something you know fighting to keep something together that was meant to fall apart from the get-go it, it, and motherfuckers been trying to keep it stable and keep it cute you know keep it cute sis when it's been really an ugly ass disaster <laughs> it's just been unbearable um i didn't even get on here to talk about this But I've been doing the best that I can. And I've been holding together, smiling on my face for too long. And I feel like the more and more I try to smile, the harder and harder and tighter and tighter and drain I get. But I keep going. And I keep running into walls. And like I told my mom, I said, I wanted to tell her so bad. Like, not that this season even is your fault. Like, I'm not going to just blame you. I wish I was stronger. I just wish I just, I wish I had my voice then. It's crazy. I wish I had my voice then. I feel like. I've just been misled <laughs> and I've been misguided and now that my kids are here and they're growing it's just for me I don't want to I don't want them to see me go through this I don't want them to have to go through this because they don't deserve it they're innocent bystanders But I'm still going, you know, I'm just tired of fighting. I'm tired of, you know, oh, y'all, you know, and people don't even know, like, y'all really don't even know, like, this shit is really, and I, and I guess I have so much pride. I be, I be, I don't want to, I don't, I don't be wanting to talk about it because I know if I talk about it, I'm going to start crying. <laughs> so I don't even want to talk about it i be trying to sell my stamps i try to do this i try to do that i'm trying to you know 
provide the best way I can. And that's going to shit down, so. I'm about to be homeless. Um, like I said, I pin or I put my cash app in the description. If anybody want to help me, that's on y'all. Um, but I'm tired, man. I just tried to make the best of somebody else's mistake. Somebody else's problem that became my problem because I accepted it. And me fighting against what they believed or what they taught me that I was being shunned or that I was being an asshole or I don't know. I was, I was being a heathen, whatever you want to call it. my last three dollars I took my last three dollars I was supposed to be going to the Dollar Tree and get some toilet tissue and I took my last three dollars because I was so stressed out y'all I patted a hole in the center of my head I don't know if y'all can tell good at suppressing shit because I don't want my kids to see me like this I don't want nobody to see me like this I was taught that it wasn't right to cry to feel anything so I'm just patting my head y'all for a month and a half I've been patting my shit my hair then fell out in the top oh man Too. <sighs> I don't like for people to see me cry out. I don't. I'm sorry. Like, I ain't know what the fuck was going on with me, but now I just click like, bitch, you been stressed the fuck out. <sighs> oh, man. But, anyways, I didn't come on here for that. I came on here to have a good day. And, uh, get some shit done today and I said that I you know I wasn't gonna think about my situation and I wasn't gonna cry and you know I wasn't gonna feel sad about it because it seems like it's just been the inevitable like it's something that I can't avoid 
And so a couple months ago when I asked and I posted a GoFundMe account, everybody thought that I was joking. They thought I was joking. Not you, not you. Why no, why not me? <laughs> I don't know. Because people didn't believe me. Nobody wanted to help me. That's been the story of my life, though. People don't believe in you, so, you know, they just look the other way. so embarrassed I do that shit is sad as fuck man I'm sweaty and I kept asking myself it was stress it started I was trying to not freak out because I don't know if I did want to accept the truth or about like me being like slick stressed out or not, but I like I literally talk to myself all the time. So I'd be like, "What the fuck? Why the fuck do I keep patting my head? Why do I keep patting my head? Like I keep patting in my head, and I'm not outside. Like I don't have no reason to be sweaty. The past three weeks I've been leaving because um, the light bill company that we go through, the light bill company." We've been having a lot of issues with them. Like our bill was like four hundred, five hundred dollars at one point a couple months ago, and I would always make sure the house is, you know, warm in the, um, the daytime and cool at night. I stopped you doing that, and, and because I read on Facebook, like <clears throat> people were talking about how they tried to be, you know, leave it alone and kind of, you know, let it be hot, you know, so it wouldn't use up, you know, and run their bill up. But I heard some other people talking about that shit don't work. You you have to leave it, you know, at a set thing. Don't turn it on at night. Don't turn it, you know, leave it on through the day and let that let it just do what it's gonna do. Because you turning it up and then you turn it down or you cutting it off makes your bill go higher. So I'm like, okay, fine, let me try that and see how it works. My bill's still two hundred dollars. I do not believe in running lights and stuff like that. <laughs> having all them damn lights on the only reason why these lights on because i'm in here otherwise my house is always dark i don't know if y'all pay attention to that <laughs> like i turn on lights when i go places but other than that i do not like use the lights like that and um yeah that's been it's been hard dog i can't like i can't even explain it but that's now nah, I know like I've been my body because I won't like I try to avoid it my body is going through this stressor like a couple weeks ago I had this rash and I'm like where the fuck this rash come from I had a big ass patch and looked like ringworm I'm like bitch I don't even go outside my kids don't go outside I don't be touching shit I don't go in the store when it's a lot of people in there like I don't fuck around so I'm like I had a, a rash on my leg about this big and the motherfucker starting to spread so I'm like what is going on so it went away so my baby daddy was like I just got a rash and I'm like a rash when I tell you he had rash here, big ass rash here, rash here, rash here, rash, he just breaking out. Like the fuck is going on with us? So mine went away. Mine came back. I got rashes under here. People like, oh, it's, it's because you don't wear a bra. No, I've been in the house. I have no reason to be hot. I never break out like this. I got a rash here. I got one rash here, one rash here, and it's just like my body is it's doing a thing. I don't know. <laughs> it's doing its own fucking thing, but 
before I start having rashes, I kept doing this. And y'all see how wet my, like, moist my hair looks? It looks a little moist. It, it, there's no reason for it to just be itching like that. So I feel like I got an infection in my head. Like, I just, I, it's just a lot of shit. Just a lot of fucking shit, dog. It's just really a lot of fucking shit. And the shit is fucked up. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know. I don't know. I have no earthly idea. I don't know. But I can tell you this. I'm tired of... I'm tired of... Trying to fix it. I'm tired of trying to fix it. I'm ready to let whatever has been wanting to happen just happen. If I'm homeless, living in my car, I mean, that's just going to be that. And I'm not going to kind of apologize for it. I'm not going to let people make me feel bad for it, feel guilty, none of that shit. Because obviously it's meant to happen because I keep like we keep trying to keep it from happening. And it's just it's like it's inevitable. So. If I don't smoke a cigarette, it's like my body can do whatever the fuck you want to do. <clears throat> Not that I can't function. It just be like the stress, it comes up. And I'll be like, I'm not stressed out. I'm not stressed out. My body be like, bitch, go get that. Go get them two bags of chips. Go eat this and that go get this and that and I'm like I'm not I'm not hungry though so I only eat one meal a day and that be a thing like man it's just been it's been hard motherfucking running out of food I done tried 17 different ways to preserve food but also make sure that my kids have their little snacks or whatever you know we just Sell a little stamps here. Pay this bill. Now you take a loss. Or your kids run through the food. You know, now you hungry for two or three weeks. Like, it's just been tough. And this, ever since COVID, I'm telling you, it's just, it's just been hard, man. It's been hard. I can't, you know, get no unemployment for last year because I owe them five grand almost. I only owed them 1200 but <clears throat> not paying them back and all this shit and that. I can't even get unemployment. I didn't get none none of the three of my stimulus stimuluses. So I said Monday, my mama just got me a phone. I don't know why, but I guess I don't know. I'm going to try to call the IRS and try to um, see what's going on with that because me myself I didn't get any stimulus checks everybody else got theirs I didn't get either one of mine and the crazy part about it is before well during tax time I filled out the information because they was like you should have got one of the codes in the mail I never did get a code in the mail so I sent them the, the form that they asked me for. I never heard back from them. But at the same time, I didn't have a phone, so I couldn't call them. You know, I only got Wi-Fi because it's connected to, you know, my light bill. Then I talked about kind of cutting off the Wi-Fi. But I'm like, if I cut off the Wi-Fi, how am I be able to communicate with people? So I had that dilemma. Because I can talk to, you know, I can FaceTime whoever on Wi-Fi. I can talk to y'all on Messenger. But if I ain't got Wi-Fi, how the fuck I'm a community? I, I ain't, I ain't going to be able to, y'all just, I'm going to be, I'm going to just be out here. So, I didn't do that. So now, I'm just asked out. I've been asked out though, so, for, for a year and a half. I don't want to bash nobody, but 
I'm just gonna speak my truth. Last year, I started getting child support for my son. And before the end of the year was out, I stopped getting child support. My baby did just stop working. Never tried to get another job, not tried to work, not tried to help me, you know, with diapers or nothing like that. It, it had got so goddamn bad with him that my son literally, which I, like I said, I don't want to bash nobody, but if this is my fucking truth. My son would have to just wear his drawers because I couldn't afford fucking diapers. So I would literally have to wash his motherfucking shit out. In the sink with soap. business out there like that because I don't want nobody to feel sorry for me but I'm just saying like I'm just saying all this to say is I'm tired man I'm just tired I'm tired of struggling I'm tired of doing this shit by myself it's just hard it's just hard man my, my baby daddy's gonna help me they folks are gonna help <coughs> they won't help me so I'm just out here just just trying, man. Just trying to keep keep going and keep believing and just trusting that something gonna come, come across me. Keep going back to fail. When nobody hired me for that, that stay-at-home jobs on the computer. I didn't have no phone at the time. <sighs> so, I'm finna get out of here because I'm tired of crying in front of y'all. I love y'all. If y'all can't help, I appreciate it. But if y'all don't see me, y'all know why. I love y'all. Well, hello there, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? It's me, John, and Mama here with Coffee Time with John and Mama. If you aren't following our page, go on over to Facebook and follow us on Coffee Time with John and Mama. Uh, our page is over two years old, so check that transparency and make